Hey guys, and welcome back to Cold Fear. When we last left off, uh, we discovered that Anna had been infected by some strange discount tyrant looking motherfucker who I'm going to assume is her dad. A page from Dr. Kams Kamsky's gut diary. That's her dad. <clears throat> um, uh, 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 uh. The mouse is so twitchy when you're not aiming. Certain specimens have manifested a form of asymmetrical development. In these cases, the exocell produced mutations that were particularly resilient, powerful and aggressive. Their skins grow so thick and resistant that they become impervious to the hardest blows and even gunfire. Um, that's not good. That, uh, ooh, oh dear. However, certain body parts of individuals who have undergone this type of mutation continue to react normally to wounds. This mostly concerns uh, the upper limbs, which become particularly developed. Repeated blows to body parts were shown to be fatal. In addition, these specimens react strangely to bait spears. They become hysterical and seek to destroy them at all costs. Okay, so bait spears still work, but uh, it drives them a little bit loopy, which isn't great. Uh, going through here. Yeah, so bait spears still work, but um, these guys have to be hit in certain weak spots. That's good. Right, this is going to be bullshit, isn't it? Run! Run! Oh, God. I can't. Oh, there's a big wave there. That's fine. Run, 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 run. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We made it. Ooh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Tom, are you seeing that, buddy? Well, you must be seeing it. You're staring at it with a gun. Oh, boy. This place crawls. Ugh. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> the damn thing's stuck. God damn it. Some of those uh, you can actually use, I might add. There was one earlier that I fiddled around with that did actually work. I got one health pack out of it. There we go. Like that one. Come on. There we go. Hey, I bet you thought I was lying, didn't you? Huh? Huh? Oh god, guys, the weapons, the weapons are not great. The weapons are really not great. This place is a freaking powder keg too. Watch where you're firing, Tom. And with all that gribbly sound effect. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's harvest up everybody. Pistol ammo. Nice. And I can see a gribbly little mofo standing down here. Oh, dude. Look at this. Look at this. What the hell is all this shit? Alright. Let's light you up, sunshine. Are we good? Oh, fuck. Yeah, get fucked, pal. Ugh, right. We're gonna have to be proper careful here. Pistol ammo, that's... Like, pistol ammo is okay, but can we have something a little bit better, please? Nothing. Ugh. Jesus. Can we even go through here? Okay, I thought we was about to die. Uh, hey friend. Are we being infected again? Are we infected again? Oh. Yeah, we're taking the flamethrower for a walk. For sure. You right there, buddy? You right there? You having a bit of a bad time? Not sure why 750,000 bullets didn't hit your head. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Alright, let's watch those corners. Ah, oh, dude, we could have done that. Okay. Not 100% sure what that's achieved. Oh, look at this. Look at this, motherfucker. Dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. You right there, friend? How about some fire? No? No likey the fire? I guess he doesn't really give two shits about the fire. Are we infected again? I mean, that's what I'm trying to work out here. Can we climb up here? Yes, I guess we can. Uh oh. Uh oh. The fuck is all this? Uh. Wait. So you're telling me there's nothing down there? Well, actually, we destroyed the generator thing. Really? That was it? Okay. Oh, great. We've got to go back through that again. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back through that again, I suppose. Wait. I could have sworn we could have interacted with something then. Uh, so this, I'm, I'm guessing this is like where it all started. Oh god, you're back. Have some fire. Oh shit, did not want to do that. Right, so we can go that way as. Oh, fuck. Hello. Oh, come on. Flame throw is a bit bizarre. I think that's fair to say. Right, burn you fucking bastard. Now, is there actually anything up here? There has to be something more here. There has to be. Absolutely has to be something more up here. Dude... I'm really running low on ammo here. Yep, we're out. Shit. <clears throat> Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Why would you think it's dead? Shit. Got like nothing left, man. Is it dead? Nope. can't tell if I'm hitting this thing. You know what? Not even this is going to solve it, is it? Yeah, we don't have anything left. Okay, that's awkward. So where does this lead? Oh, jeez. Oh, lovely, lovely place to be without ammo. Uh, um, oh man, what do we do? We don't even have a melee attack, as far as I'm aware. Great, a door with no handle. Yeah. Certainly could be worse, bud. You got anything for me, pal? Oh, you're one of the good ones. You're one of the good ones, my friend. One of the good ones. Right, anything in here? I'm not even going to shoot you because, like, I need every fucking bullet I can get. Oh, man. Right. Oh, you're getting up. Yeah. Saw that a mile off. Please give me something. Yes. Yes. You're a hero. You don't know it yet, my friend, but you're a hero. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. A little bit off the top. What have you got for me? 
Uh, but yeah, sure. I mean, fine. Not exactly what we wanted, but we'll definitely take it. Ammo for the AK. Oh, sweet Jesus. <clears throat> okay, so um. It's unlocked. Ah. Oh, it's on a timer. I guess. Yep, it's on a timer. Because of course it is. Right, it's unlocked. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh, guys. Yes. Stuff. I like stuff. More juice for the flamethrower. Yes. <gasps> Fully fucking loaded. Nice. Beer gun ammo. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Some machine gun clip. Oh my god. This was needed. This was needed. Okay. Nice. There's a safe in there. Right. Let's reload everything. Uh, one spear. Yeah, one spear. One spear is one spear, I suppose. At least we got the flamethrower back. The flamethrower is pretty monstrous, actually. And there's a health kit there as well, uh, which uh, we don't need, obviously. Right, okay. Now we have a little bit of something to continue with. Whoa, 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 dude. Get fucked. Seriously, get fucked. Can I hear Gribblies? <clears throat> Keep hearing. Oh no. Uh, these things take an obscene amount of ammo to bring down. Uh, I guess we could cook it with a flamer. Is that enough? They don't take a huge amount, actually. It's not too bad. Come on, Tom. We don't have the ammo to keep wasting like that, my dude. So, it looks like we need a key for that. Scientist dormitory. Uh, security crew sleeping room. Showers. Let's go check out. Crew sleeping quarters. Because hopefully... Yes, there's bullets in here and a med kit. Cool. Let's get through this area first before we start harvesting up all the goodies. Uh... Okay, I don't think we can actually even cherry pick that guy's head off if we wanted to. Ah, uh... you? I can see you looking at me, sunshine. Both of you. Right, well, one of them down. Uh, they kind of cock block that explosive with their bodies. Oh, you're a bit tougher. Come on. There we go. You ain't going to do fuck all without your head, are you? That's right. What have you got for me? Nothing, you stingy bastard. Okay, that's fine. We really are running on sunshine here. Stardust, I should say. Interaction. Uh, Yasupov, what does Mr. Soup have for us? Uh, Colonel Dmitry Yasupov. Platform readiness. Progress uh, of platform operations. All drilling operations have ceased. The laboratory facilities are now operational and have been equipped according to Dr. Kamsky's instructions. Confinement cells, decontamination chambers, scanners, and scanning uh, electron microscopes. The first specimens are on board, and the 20 scientists I have recruited at your request will be, be here on Thursday. Anashenko has enabled the communication jamming system, <coughs> and all those drilling crew members have been evacuated. Those aware of the presence of exosils have been dealt with separately. Oof. Work can now get underway. Oh, dear. Oh. 
Can we not? Can we not push this particular button? Really? All right. Well, I mean, admittedly, I didn't see a door for that one anyway, but. Okay, that's kind of strange, so. There is a door, but. Or should I say, there is a button, but we can't use it. Bit odd. Weird flex. Um, so let's go to the showers before we go upstairs. Anybody nude? I hope you're all decent in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. What the fuck is happening in here? Wait, so these guys can have guns. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Click empty. Click empty. Oof. That was intense. Jesus. Oh, great. Right, well. <clears throat> we ain't having any of this. I don't think so. My pedigree chump. Or maybe we will. Jesus Christ. This area doesn't fuck around, does it? Oh, seriously? Ah, come the fuck on, game. Right, well, I'll meet you guys back there in a minute, I guess. Okay, we're back. Just. Well, that was a pain in the butt, wasn't it? They just kind of throw everything they have at you. And this is also a pain in the butt. Getting my uh, timer to restart. So we can't look in there. There's... So there's not actually anything in here by the look of things. The damn thing's stuck. I guess at some point we need to crack that bad boy open. Alright, so those grenade launcher uh, rounds actually do seem to be really fucking good at taking out... Right, there should be a med kit in here. They're really good at taking out... Um, those spawners, I guess you'd call them, because they do actually set them on fire, which is quite nice. There was a med kit in here, wasn't there? Uh, was there not? I really thought there was. Well, that's us. Seriously, no medkit. Did you have a medkit on you? No, you got ammo for the AK, though, which... Yes, fucking please. Yeah, that other room that we uh, originally dropped down into, the one with all the gribblies, uh, with the weird, like, half-human, like, effigy dude at the end. Uh, I just ran through that. I electrocuted one of the guys. Can we? Great. Oh, door with fuck's no sake. And I also electrocuted this chap too. Shot the box behind him. Lel. I don't think we can touch him, and I'm not even going to try, to be honest. It's unlocked. So whether we're going to have a lot more resistance to run back through when we get back out of it, I don't know. But this is kind of a cool area, to be honest. Right, grab that. Pistol for the ammo. Oh, okay, so we had pistol ammo. Alright, we're actually doing slightly better as well when it comes to ammo, because I did run through quite a lot of enemies. Just because um, ammo suddenly appears to be a bit of an issue. And it wasn't an issue to start with. Right, let's head on upstairs. Let's grip our flamethrower tightly. I've fried this guy's ass. Uh, I don't know what's best to go up with. Maybe the AK? Oh, hello. Oh, I did semi-expect that to be a safe spot. Yeah, I don't buy it. I'm not buying what you're fucking selling, son. Doesn't have any more ammunition. 
What about you? Well, that looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Does not have any more ammo? Guys, come on. You know the whole uh, phrase, sharing is caring? Ah, stingy. Looks like some shit went down here. Damn, no luck. Yeah, a bit like these poor bastards. They were empty right out of all that stuff. Ah, oh, hey friend. What about you? Are you no lucker too? Yes, nothing. They must have fired every fucking thing they had. Well, this door looks ominous. Oh. Uh. I mean, he's pretty enthralled in what he's doing over there. So that's fine. And you, sir, you're cooking something up. I think this shotgun's growing on me, I think. It's, yeah, it's all right. What was he so excited about in there? Yeah, there, my friend. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. There you go. Best thing that could have happened to you, I'm afraid. Okay. Right. Oh, Tom. We don't want to go down there, Tom. But I think we might have to, Tom. Oh, dude. Oh, I bet we could have shot that and fried his ass. Right, there's nothing we can really interact with here. Ah, uh, maybe there is. Well, this place crawls. At least it looks like it should crawl. Can we actually... Ah, oh, we can. A report about contamination. Uh, sure? Yeah, we read that one. One of the reasons the exocells may have previously escaped detection is that they demonstrate an occasional ability to blend in with the environment. At least one test subject, I-402, we have managed to amplify this phenomenon. After blocking the contamination process and extracting the exocell, the subject quite literally became invisible, oh dear. Whereas infrared enhanced viewing clearly confirmed its presence. Otherwise, only a faint ripple or disturbance could be seen when it moved. What fascinates, uh, what fast, fantastic uses could be made of this? Exocell behavior is quite simplistic. The extremity of their tendril is lined with uh, uh, multi, what's that? Mamili millimetric fangs that sink into the victim's skin. The exocell uh, uses them to pump the victim's blood, uh, thereby weakening him. It renders the victim vulnerable to contamination since exocells are only able to infest a host that is either weak or unconscious. Afterwards, they enter the body through the mouth, in some cases have been observed infesting dead bodies, though this activity seems to be limited to corpses that have not suffered significant structural damage or undergone extensive decomposition. Contaminated human hosts, alive or dead, are immediately driven by the exocell's urges to seek and destroy warm-blooded life. This serves two purposes. It feeds the exocell's host, who frequently engages in acts of cannibalism, fuck, and provides new potential hosts for other exocells. Uh, the mutation induced in their hosts requires tremendous amounts of protein, which means that the hosts are constantly seeking fresh prey. The secondary phase of exocell life, which we now call the tumorous phase, uh, in which the exocells become breeders, is extraordinarily difficult to destroy, even through condemned, uh, even though condemned to mobility. Only fire can effectively destroy these forms of exocell. The breeders produce contaminators at a still undetermined rate. Yeah, they're the ones that are attached to the walls. The link between the contaminators and their breeders remains a mystery. Although it seems a contaminator will fight to the death to protect its parent. Oof. So I'm glad they mentioned protein. Because I always find it strange. And Resident Evil is, um, you know guilty of this you just see rapid 
uh, expansion of creatures that just mutate from a, like a human size to a massive T-Rex and you're like that's cool and I know this is a video game but where's that mass coming from? You cannot create matter. Matter cannot be created out of nothing. It can only change forms. So that's one thing that really irritated me stuck. about a certain Resident Evil 6, especially. Ah, so that... Right, so we've been all the way through there. But what did we actually... The antidote must be in the scientific module. Right. Let's burn this thing down. I'm not sure how much fire we actually need. Is that enough? Will that eventually... Yeah, so that's enough. Cool. I get the feeling we've missed something in there. Is there a breeder up here? No. That is rather monstrous though, isn't it? Giant human skull. I mean, I'm guessing that was at some point someone. I don't know though. Maybe that's the, the brain of the operation. Right, so that one leads us back. Uh, right, the antidote must be in the scientific module. Where was the scientific module? Have we... Now this area should be clean of enemies. Have we missed it somewhere? I also really hope the video has been pausing and unpausing correctly. Not being able to see it is a little bit awkward. Uh, that's the scientific module. We haven't been in here yet. Ah. It's all... You know, it sounds stupid as well, but it is also quite hard to determine... Um, Great. It's locked. What can be a door at times. Okay. Now, luckily, this game is fairly linear. You know, it always sets you on a correct path. There isn't a lot of room for exploration. Oh, fuck me, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is cool. Uh, that was something. That looks broken. Yeah. Uh... Oh, there we go. That's one of the invisible things. Right. Can't interact with its corpse. Ah, oh, they're very aquatic looking. So, we've learned something. They're, they're not actually any more dangerous than a normal one. Interestingly enough. Oh, I bet he is. Oh, I bet he is. You're a big fella, aren't you? Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Did I want to push that? Um. I hope we're going somewhere good. Scientific module. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure we've still got stuff to look at downstairs. And I am slightly concerned that we still haven't had a save point in quite a while. This game is really fucking shit with its save points. And that would have irritated the hell out of me back in the day. I know f absolute certainty that would have really put me off this game. Like, how do you get save points wrong? Alright, come on, guys. 
Uh, I guess we have action music again. For reasons. Well, there's a pool down there. Is that water electrified? No, that's not what I wanted. I'm guessing that water's electrified. Maybe. Not really sure. Experimental chamber. This is going to be fun. Oh. Oh, dude. Savage. Page about experiments. Can I have a save point game? This is fucking ridiculous. Uh, we have observed that electrical discharges have no effect on exocell's neural network. However, once the exocell has taken control of the body, both the exocell and its host are vulnerable to any source of electricity. In fact, prolonged exposure to a strong electric charge results in death. As a precaution, we have electrified the floors in the experimental chamber. This system is only to be used in case of extreme emergency. Let it Ah, Boo! I was hoping that was going to be a good fun time. Ooh, there's some bad voodoo here. There's some bad voodoo. Kind of concerned at this point that half of this video might not be being recorded. Okay. Hey, friend. There we go. Feel better for that. Could really use some more ammo again. Oh, I got the shotgun, I guess. That'll do for now. Ooh. Hey, friend. Come to Papa. Oh, you got a gun. Which means you gotta die. Uh oh, dude, seriously? Seriously, my friend? Ugh. Well, we've got health and shotgun shells. Health and a shotgun shells, yes. This might just have to be a longer episode, to be honest, guys. If this video is recording at all, that is. Really don't like not having... Um, OBS up. Oh, I might take the frame rate hit. And just keep OBS up. Oh, this place is going to get bad, isn't it? What have we got? We've got a flamethrower. Oof, we don't have much. To be honest. We don't have much at all. Right, well. Ah, there's flamethrower ammo. Lel. That means flamethrower time. You right there, buddy? You doing good? Um. Um. Well. Wow. Oh, fuck. That was dirty game. That was really dirty. Right, we've got the antidote now. Which is nice. I knew that was coming. Right, you fuckers can burn. Burn! Burn for my amusement. There we go. Get fucked. Oh, that's AK ammo there. I didn't know what the fuck that was. Okay. Cool. We'll have the flame ammo too. That does seem to restock you instantly. Yes! Thank you! We have a winner. Right, okay, so I guess we're going to save it there. Fingers crossed this has come out and actually saved. Um, or actually recorded, I should say. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to just have to have OBS back on my other screen because I'm way too paranoid about this not recording properly. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.